everyone and welcome back with Pal Family. I'm Natalia. I'm Daniel. And today we have a video from Max and Kim. The first time that we seeing a video from them. Huge temples, Boro Boro Budur and from Ban from Banan Yogarta. Yogi Karta. Yogi Yogi Karta Yogarta. <laughs> Yogi Karta. No, Yogi Karta. Yeah, Yogi Karta. Yogi Karta. Yeah. I don't know if it's correct like that. Are we saying? But um, let's check it out. Don't Subscribe. forget if you're new and enjoying watching these videos with us subscribe like hit the notification bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos uh, so this is from 2019 yeah. first video from Max and Kim Max and Kim hello wait Yeah. Okay. Your card, do you see? You want to see it or no? <laughs> you love. Oh. Uh, this is that huge temple that we've seen. Max and Kim. Good morning, YouTube. It's Max and Kim. This Today we are going to be visiting <laughs> two. Most incredible temples in Jogjakarta, Borobudur and Jogjakarta. So the first is the yeah, biggest Buddha temple in the world, and the second is the biggest Hindu temple in Indonesia. Just checking in current time, 4:30 a.m. Oh. We're gonna leave at five to get there for six. It's about the fourth day in a row that we've been getting up quite early. We're gonna be there just after sunrise. We have time because the work. tickets to actually go into the temple before six o'clock are about double the price. We're gonna try and make it. 4 6 a.m. which is when the general admission oh, opens really? so we get a little bit of the oh. sunrise but we don't have to pay Why? extra money we have finished our one hour drive because we did not have traffic. oh my god they are six o'clock they are in t-shirts so we're at well, it's now. It's warm. <laughs> yeah uh but when we go to Prambanan. 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 Knows, it's not going to be the same probably take Prambanan. about 1.5 times as long. The temples open at 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you can either buy a separate ticket for each temple or you can get the combined one. The separate one is 350,000 for each temple and the combined one is 630. So it's one for 35 Two or four. for both. And on the combined ticket you can still do one on one day and one on the other day. But we're going to get the most done today. Two tickets, please. For, ah, for both temples. Yes. There are two temples. I think. How much is that? Do you know? Two? So if it's 63 for person? So it's uh, 1 million 200. Oh my god, I don't have that much money. <laughs> 1 million. <laughs> I'm not being a millionaire million. anymore. It's nothing. Oh, okay. So these are our tickets. You can pay in US dollars, but it's cheap and not too. So see, I think one is forty-five dollar. So no drones allowed in the temple, guys. No what? Got a no drones. And they're gonna keep it for us at reception. No eating in the temple either. Okay. Let's go do some exploring. Is that one that you said that you you might get lost? Yeah. It's a, like a labyrinth. So this is one that we can spend a full day here. Oh, how nice they've done it. Whoa. <laughs> so guys, this temple is just 
discovered in 1812 and it was all just covered in forest and so once they discovered it they found the rocks but they were all kind of everywhere so they had to reassemble them some got taken for people to build their houses like they just didn't really think about it these are all just completely rock there's no cement or anything to keep them together they're just the formations of the rocks that are keeping okay. them together which is insane and any of the parts that they couldn't find they had to remake perfect little stone bits so no two bits of stone are the same. So this is a temple. Yeah, there's like so, 240 different temples here. And inside each one of these temples is a little Buddha. It's pretty awesome up here. There's nothing else in the world like it. So we're just on one of the levels that's not the top center bit, but it's still quite high up in the temple. Each little level you can walk around the entire way. There is so much detail on all of the walls the entire way around. They have the stories as you go around the temple here, and they've had to carve it out separately on each brick and then put them all together like a massive puzzle and the entire temple is Imagine covered. How much so the amount of time, time it would have taken to cut and place those together is just like it blows my mind. It is hot out. It is now 8.40, very busy and very, very hot. Probably like 35 degrees. <laughs> At least. The temple looks really, really well restored and it looks incredible. So that's why you have to go at six o'clock to be there. Yeah, close I think they're right. See, there's actually quite a few bits that either got lost when they were trying to uncover it, or that it just didn't make through. So yeah. some have heads missing, there's arms missing, but it actually okay. just adds to it. It looks really, really yeah. cool. During the restoration, every part that they had to use new rock on, they've actually marked so that you can see that it's not the original. So this whole top layer has been redone. She makes it really easy to walk on and quite safe, but they've marked them all with a little white dot to show they're not the original. So the temple's right there behind us. We're just trying to find the gun. It is huge. It is. Yeah, also known as the Elefante. Elefant. Elefant. That is definitely getting a lot busier. Olifante. I mean, it's to be expected being one of the largest temples in the world for its kind, but yeah. if you want to avoid the people, come as early as you can. Well, both of the temples we're visiting today are UNESCO heritage sites, and that's why they're more expensive, but the money that we pay do go towards the maintenance costs of these temples. We just made it to the elephant's enclosure or the elephant house, Karangaja. Wow. There's five elephants here. Yeah, really cool. One's obviously a male, the rest we're not sure about. I think two were male, but one is very obviously a male. Yeah, you have to obviously. enter at the east exit and exit at the west exit. If you try and go out the other way or come in the other way, it doesn't work. Doesn't work. And as you can see, we're leaving now and there are masses and masses behind us. No. <laughs> it looks the same in front of us. We get a free train ride. It comes built in with your ticket. Yeah, I think I might because we got the combo ticket. I'm not sure. He looked at our ticket and said, cool, this is free for you. So I, I like it. to Current go with this guy. Quarter past nine. <laughs> he we went got in the here parts. just before 6 a.m. So you can easily spend, you know, a good three hours here. We didn't really know that it went that quickly. All we pretty much did was go up the temple, have a walk around, walk back down. Aww. This is the Borbador Museum, which they have all the original stones. I think maybe they're the ones that they couldn't fit in anywhere, so they could be some of those oh, missing so pieces. They left them there. This is what they would have had to, like, restore when they did it. Imagine this puzzle. You can see how they fit them all together with the Imagine. ridges. They literally fit everything together like oh, this puzzle This is pieces. a puzzle. Not mm -hmm. what we do here. No glue, <laughs> no cement. Pieces. They do try and funnel you through a massive market on the way out, which everyone's just walking out of. You can just walk back to the place that you came in the park, and that'll let you out as well. One very short nap later, and we are at... Paramban Temple. When you guys come to the temples, they'll have two signs. Right-hand side is for the domestic tickets. Left-hand side is for international. We do pay like 10 times the yeah. price. Yeah. But it's worth it. It's pretty <laughs> cool. You are from Indonesia? Going to both the temples only cost you 75000 compared to 630000 for international. You guys got a good deal. Ooh. Ooh. It's a nice stamp. Yeah. So these are others. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. We just seen them. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Which like one were those two temples that they I don't paid? know, maybe with the elephants and that's why. But that was not a temple. No, they paid to go... Oh. There as well, I think. Okay. And these are other two temples. Yeah, where uh, the local Indian can get uh, in for less than the... And the international, like, double... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very she good. She said ten times. So big. Yes. So <laughs> Almost big. ten yeah. times. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the sun. Anyone else have that problem? We're doing tourist stuff. Can you sort yourself out? This is the second. I don't, I don't know okay. the stats, guys. Oh, yeah, they have two there. Let's see. When they look at the sun. Three. That's me. Sort your allergy out, we've got temples to see. Better? Cool, temple time. Oh, but it looks nice, isn't it? Wow. So 
here is allowed the drone. Yeah. I think. So now we're going into Siwu Temple. Yes. There's four rooms. Each room has its own station. The temple is actually 47 meters tall. Guys, we found the secret door. The room of requirement <laughs> after the giant earthquake in 2006. And they, did the rebuild. they did the same thing at this temple as they did at the first. It's the original with the lotus underneath, and that's the new one. So it doesn't have much detail, but it does have the little mark that just shows that it's new. All of these were their own temples. They've actually just collapsed into rubble now. So what they're doing is they're slowly rebuilding here. But if you have a look, just here, all of them used to be temples. Oh my, they still have like loads, isn't it? Behind me here. This big one here is 47 meters tall. Uh, so and they're going to have a, a lot of left, restoration to make. And on the right, that one there. When you come away from the seven huge ones that we just did the tour of and you come outside to where the smaller temples were that got ruined in the earthquake, it's actually just rubble and there's no one here so you can just play around and get some amazing shots. There's no drink stations. If anyone wants to open a business, a slushy machine in the middle of that would be very cool. Yeah. I, want I bet. From Dude. the main attraction there, it's about a kilometer walk to the other three temples. You can rent bikes. For a tandem bike, it'll cost you 20,000 rupiah or $2 Australian. The catch is you can only rent it for half an hour. So by the time you bike there, you've got to turn around and bike you back. So you can get you segways. Need, you can get segways or you can get like go karty I mean golf cart looking things. Hari any is Panasukali. Candy. Oh, you can walk. Lucky we didn't get a bike. <laughs> so this one is considerably smaller, but on the plus side, there is no one else here. Nobody. We have the entire place to ourselves. It's so peaceful, calm and quiet, still exactly as pretty as the others, just on a smaller scale. Welcome to my crib. MTV. So you pretty much just got another four <laughs> mini temples. MTV. And then you've got the main one here that was hit pretty hard in the earthquake that hasn't been repaired very much. These so are the all ones of them used they were the affected temples as by well, the earthquake. But they were pretty much earthquake. destroyed in the earthquake. earthquake. Not the earthquake. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Earthquake. Temple number four for the day. This place I would rate the second best temple here out of the all out of the four. So you've got the massive one. If you're only oh, going to come to one, go to status. that one. If you can make it to two, go to the first one and this last one as well. Yeah, this one is called Sewu. It's the furthest the away. But it's the biggest out of the other three. This last one's actually really cool. It's got like a four wall door system. So you can like walk in through all of the ways there from just behind us. And you can go through that door behind us there as well. We've got a ride back. Last we don't have to walk over. all the way back to the entrance. Right. All, all right, right guys, that, that is the vlog. <laughs> We're coming at a bit of an angle so you can get the uh, top yeah, the of the towers there. And they're so cute so together. Good vlog, mate. Is this a good angle for our heads? Yeah. Australian. I, uh -huh. I like the accent. Exploring the two temples. Been amazing for us if you are here this is the two number one things that you have to come and do if you haven't already smack that subscribe button in the face stay safe i'll see you in the next one bye hi i'm jeffy from jumba jumba from sitabana i'm gisa from lombok island of course hello they made loads of friends don't forget to like and subscribe huge temples Max and Kim. Max and Kim in Yo Yo Jakarta. Yogi Jakarta. Something like that. I don't know what they are saying. Yogi Karta, Yogi Yo. Yogi Karta. Yogi Karta. Yo Yo Jakarta. No, it's Yogi Karta. Yogi Karta. Yogi Karta. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, it was very, um, very nice video. I, um, I really like them, Max and Kim. Are they Australian? They're what? Um, She's from New Zealand. New Zealand. Both of them. <laughs> Don't know. But um, yeah. The video was uh, really nice. Loads of temples, 
Uh, the good. first one we've seen it before, no? In yeah. one of our reaction videos. videos, yeah, that we've done before, but uh, this one, three, no. I think that you might have seen shots, but you didn't know. Yeah, but anyway, they are huge. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget if you're new, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell to stay up to date to know when we're gonna post our next videos. Stay healthy, safe. See you in the next one. See ya. Bye. Bye.